and welcome to some new My Thoughts. I've got three stories for you today. <coughs> Starting with the first, some gaming news. Epic Games and Fortnite are back at it again. Fortnite is to release a new mode called Imposters Mode, which is so copy and paste of Among Us that Inner Sloths devs are calling out for what it is. Community Director Victoria Tran says that a collab with Epic would have been cool, meaning that a crossover with Fortnite is not an issue for Inner Sloth, rather that Epic went ahead and did it without even consulting Inner Sloth. And are you really surprised at this point? That's how Epic stays alive, is stealing every single good idea another game developer has ever had. Honestly, I... First of all, I have never understood the appeal of Fortnite, and I never will. Secondly, it's... I mean... Not even consulting the developers of Among Us and then stealing the entirety of the ID and game mode from them. I mean, Epic, you've hit some lows, but this is just starting to get repetitive at this point. And other news. Cyberpunk 2077's first three DLCs are purely cosmetics. To be precise, two new jackets, a new car, and a new outfit for Johnny Silverhand. All of these can apparently can be accessed in the game now. And it comes after a big update, apparently. I don't know. I don't play Cyberpunk. But I wanted to bring this up because... Uh, they claim much more substantial updates are coming soon. That's keyword for we had nothing and decided to just go with clothes. And a car. Yeah, hey, it's just my opinion, but I think. Honestly, I think Cyberpunk 2077 needs to be forgotten. It's a black mark on CG product Red's history. And it's just Okay, first of all, if you're going to release an update for a game you totally botched. And then follow it up with a free DLC that's just two new clothes I clothing items a car and a outfit for a character you don't even get to play then just go home CG product red you're drunk just go home stay there come up with a new witcher game because that seems to be the only game you can do right Meanwhile, in film news, huh, I bet you didn't see that one coming. There is apparently going to be a new Spawn movie. Spawn, for those of you who don't know, is a comic book character. Very, very dark. And he, there was a movie with back in the early 2000s. It wasn't very good by any mean, means, and the CGI in it was awful, but... I liked it. It's kind of just something you can watch and have fun. You know, so apparently they're going to make a remake, a new one, I guess. Broken City writer Bran Tucker is to work on a new script from the film. Because apparently this has been in development hell for a while now. Uh, apparently Blumhouse is supposed to be attached to it, which... I like Blumhouse. They make some good movies. Well, where's our Five Nights at Freddy's 
No, seriously, where's Five Nights at Freddy's? Is this going to be another Five Nights at Freddy's where you say you're going to make it, but then it never happens? It is, isn't it? <sighs> the status of the cast is unclear, so we have no idea who's playing who in this, uh... Remake. And all I have to say is this. Another comic book movie? Really? I, I have nothing against comic book except yeah I do I have something against comic book movies that's all you people want to make anymore <sighs> that are Harry Potter spin-offs I'm you know what it's just I don't know why I don't know why Hollywood even bothers to pretend they still make m films anymore I agree with Martin Scorsese. The Marvel movies are not real cinema. They're theme parks. That's what they are. And that is what Hollywood has descended into, is a theme park. And, <clears throat> and Blumhouse is guilty of this too, even though I like their films. Uh, cause, what was it? Get Out? Us? Themes over substance. Themes over s character, over story, over everything. I know that's not what a theme park technically is, but in my opinion, that's what a Hollywood theme park is. Themes over substance. <laughs> and that's all Marvel is, is just themes yeah they got some stories every now and then but I mean wow Iron Man 3 was a real head scratcher wow Ant-Man and the Wasp was a real head scratcher <sighs> thanks for watching this when you do subscribe if you want and don't forget to give yourselves a big thumbs up and no I am not going to ever apologize for calling Marvel Movies Theme Parks. Because Martin's right. Goodbye.